G'day guys, welcome back to another week of uh, building the Salir Royale. This week we're going to be adding um, some rubbing strakes onto the side of the ship. There's quite a few, about six all up, up the different heights of the ship. Uh, first one's reasonably important to get correct because all the others are taken from measurements as to where uh, this one is placed. Uh, I've already bent this one and I've also pre-drilled some holes where I'm going to be putting uh, brass nails through. Um, I don't think I'm actually going to pull them out because I think they'll look alright. I've actually put them exactly two and a half centimetres apart so it looks nice and even. So um, I'll get some glue and we'll put the first one in place. Okay, there's the first of the rubbing strokes uh, done on this side of the ship. Uh, I believe there's about six more we have to do. Another three in this style. In the middle, one above that layer. And then there's some uh, rubbing strokes up the top here uh, by each deck, which all have to be shaped before they're uh, put in place. Uh, instructions actually show that even after we paint all the ship, this gets left in its natural wood colour. I've seen a number of um, builds online and nearly every one of them either painted this gold or yellow. Uh, I'm sort of thinking about leaving it the wood colour just as that contrast between uh, the wood and the rest of the ship being painted. But um, I've got a little, little bit of time before I have to make that decision. If anyone's got any ideas, just leave it in the uh, comments. So we'll continue with the next layer. Okay, the next rubbing strake has to come from this uh, point here. 
what they want us to do is measure the gap from the bottom of this um, rubbing stroke to the top of the next one, which is 15 millimetres, and then mark around the side of the ship that line so that it's the same distance all the way from front to back. Uh, it's exactly the same process I followed to do the first one, so I won't film it again. I'll just complete this and then I'll get back to you. Okay, we've added the first two of the rubbing strokes around and it is exactly parallel to each other all the way. Um, the next one, let's have to get a piece of wood, uh, will run around just below that deck there and then come around and go the full length of the ship just below that line of gun ports there these ones I'm not going to nail in place I'll just glue them um, I'm actually thinking I may remove these nails after all not sure whether I like it or not but we'll see uh, so yeah just have, need to run this one just along that line and um, and we're probably halfway through them so I'll just get this piece bent and then we'll continue Okay, we've got the next layer or level of um, rubbing strokes put on. We have one more to put on like this. The instructions say to make it 23 millimetres above um, this one. So I've gone along and marked out the positions all the way to the end of the ship. Uh, it's going to be exactly the same as uh, this one, so I won't fill it. We'll just come back up once I've done it. And then the final lot of, uh, I don't know if they're really rowing strakes this high, but we'll have some shaped ones that go just below each of the um, uh, railings there. Uh, so I'll get this one done and then I'll get back to you. Okay, we've got the next layer or level of um, rubbing strokes put on. We have one more to put on like this. The instructions say to make it 23 millimetres above um, this one. So I've gone along and marked out the positions all the way to the end of the ship. Uh, it's going to be exactly the same as uh, this one, so I won't fill it. We'll just come back up once I've done it. And then the final lot of, uh, I don't know if they're really rowing strakes this high, but we'll have some shaped ones that go just below each of the um, uh, railings there. Uh, so I'll get this one done and then I'll get back to you. Okay, the next lot of uh, rubbing strokes we've got to put on are these ones. Uh, I've already run the shaping tool over it, which was um, 
this uh, it's hard to see it 1.5 by 4 millimeter uh, actually this one compared to some of the others I've used hasn't come out too bad you can actually see a bit of a shape to it so this first one is going to be going on just below the front part of this railing up to just below the start of this one uh, I think we'll be putting some planking probably above that at some point so we'll glue this in place and then we'll continue so that one's um, on there I'll go ahead and shape up the rest of them and uh, then I'll get back to you Okay, this final piece that we have to put on extends from uh, the short one that we put on earlier. It has to go just over the very top of these small gun ports and then we just trim out that little piece at the top of each, uh, except for, oops, except for the um, last one which will sit just right on the corner. But other than that, the rest will have to be uh, trimmed. So I'll just get some glue on this piece and then we'll put it on. Okay, that completes all the uh, rubbing strokes that need to go on. Uh, for the next couple of days, I'll just fill in the little gaps between the uh, planks and give it a light sand. Uh, because last week, next week, sorry, we're going to start um, painting the hull of the ship. So, um, yeah, I hope you join me next week. Thanks.